tour. I feel like this is the most requested video I've received on my channel pretty much ever and I'm in my 39th week. Well I think I'm 39 weeks in a few days so I thought I better shoot this video just in case I go into labor this week or something and I don't get a chance to make it. Um, so as you guys know I live in Los Angeles so basically we have a really small apartment so I did have to combine her nursery with my office. I talked a lot with you guys about what I should do with the nursery. I asked you questions like should I completely transform an entire room in our apartment for her nursery and so many of you guys said that it wasn't a good idea because they're pretty much not going to use their nursery for the first year. So this is basically just all for me. It's all for the nesting purposes of a new mom and I know a lot of you guys are probably going to tell me in this video you're not going to use that, you're not going to need that, but just keep in mind that this is all just part of nesting and it's fun and girly. Um, I know you guys are also excited for this video because I'm going to share with you my baby girl's name and so many of you guys already guessed it. I don't know how, but basically her name is Annabelle Rose Johnson and yeah, so hence all of the floral kind of theme you see going on in the room with her middle name. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So before I get started showing you guys the room, I wanted to mention that I worked with a few different brands and also some Etsy sellers um, to basically put her nursery together. So if you guys like anything you see at all, I will link everything below. And I also worked hard to get you guys some coupon codes and discount codes, free shipping, things like that. So I know a ton of you guys are pregnant yourself. So if you want to purchase any of this stuff in different colors or if you just want to check out the sites. Um, I will go ahead and link below in the description box everything that you can find. And I'm also doing a blog post in collaboration with this video, so I will link below that as well. So basically I wanted to start in this corner of the room, and as you can tell I left my walls pretty much bare. Um, they're like an off-white color, and that's just because I really don't even know if she's going to use this room um, while we're living in this apartment. I don't know if we're really going to stay in this apartment for the next year or whatever, so I didn't want to invest the money in painting everything and then having to paint it white when we move out so I basically just tried to incorporate as much color as I could in like I don't know her sheets the rug um, the curtains and stuff like that so if you guys haven't been following my channel for a while I basically been doing a weekly pregnancy update um, I think ever since my like second trimester at the beginning of my first and one of the questions I asked you guys is whether or not I should invest in a glider or a rocking chair because I, if you guys don't know, I'm a new mom. I've never done this before. Um, so yeah, basically you guys told me that I should get something. So I got this glider from Target and I really like it because it's not just a rocking chair. It doesn't go back and forth and that's it. It swivels, not that, you know, that really matters, but I thought it was kind of a cool little touch to it. And I also got a neutral color because like I said, when we do move next, I'll probably want to paint her walls something, probably light pink or something, so I didn't want a glider that would clash with anything and I wanted it to grow with her or our next baby if I decide to put it in their room. So on the glider I basically just have this cute little rose printed throw and this is from an Etsy seller so I will link that for you guys. And I also have, this is such a cute pillow, I already told Doug that he cannot put his head on it because he'll probably get grease on it from working on his cars or I don't even know. But it's a really soft, really nice handmade pillow and it's also from Etsy. Um, it has like this 3D Dahlia uh, flower on it. The pillow's off-white and the flower is stark white, but you can get them in a bunch of different colors. So I thought that was really nice. And then I also wanted to do as many monogrammed slash personalized pieces because I'm all into that. So I got this cute little light pink elephant from Etsy as well. And you can basically embroider anything you want on it from the seller. So yeah, it's super cute and I just love that it's personalized. But as you can tell, I am obviously obsessed with Etsy and no, this is not sponsored by Etsy, I wish. Um, but basically the reason I like to shop on Etsy rather than like Bye Bye Baby or other kind of like nursery slash baby kid stores, just because they have more personalized, unique stuff and not everybody has it, so I think it's cool. 
So when I saw these angel wings, I fell in love, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but I feel like they look really cute in this corner, and not gonna lie, they would look way better if my wall was painted because they would stand out more, but you can get them in a bunch of different colors, and they're from a brand called White Faux Taxidermy, and they do a bunch of different stuff, but I will link them below. Um, so yeah, they're huge angel wings. They're like a plaster mold, so they're very heavy and sturdy. And I also wanted to mention I got these um, curtains from Target as well. So for her dresser, I actually ended up moving Doug and I's old dresser in here. So we're going to get new furniture eventually. But for now, I thought that this was like a really pretty girly dresser. This one is from Ikea, but I obviously switched out the knobs. You guys have seen it before if you've seen my bedroom tour. Um, but they're like little crystal knobs, and I thought they were really cute for a little girl's room. So I put that in here. Also, it's a good um, like changing table, although I'm kind of short, so it might be kind of hard. But we're going to work with it. So as you can tell, I have a giant gold monogram on the wall, and this is also from Etsy, but I ended up actually spray painting it gold after I decided not to paint the walls. So yeah, you can get them in a bunch of different colors and also sizes, but I just think it's really cute and girly. And then I also have a giant A on her door, and that is from Etsy as well. But the seller actually um, put all the roses on there, and you can pick the flowers with her, you can pick the color and the style. I think it's really special to put on her door, so I love that. And then the changing pad I actually got from a brand called, it's not Etsy, it's called thebabycubby.com, I believe, but again, I will link everything below. And they sell a bunch of different stuff like for babies and they price match and they have free shipping and they're amazing. So definitely check them out. But I knew I wanted to get some kind of a floral changing pad cover. So this one's from Luna Lou Design. I feel like I got an abnormally large size changing mat. Let me know if this is a normal size, but... I don't know, comparing it to my body for reference, I feel like it's for a toddler, but I guess babies grow fast. Uh, I'm gonna learn. So yeah, I love that. And then on top of it, I'm probably gonna bring this to the hospital, but this is from Mitten Arrows. It's a little swaddle. Doug had no idea what this was when I first showed him. And I was like, it's a swaddle, you gotta swaddle them up. So we'll have to watch some YouTube videos on how to swaddle your baby. And then it also comes with like a little head wrap or a headband, which I think is cute in the matching pattern. I knew I wanted stuff that she could keep with her in like a little keepsake box and have things to remember her, I don't know, her nursery and her childhood with. So the first thing I got, this is like a little knickknacky thing and it's not necessary, but I feel like it's so cute. Um, it's like this little rocking horse and it has little apples or something on them, but it's so cute. It reminds me of like Germany or something or the 70s. I can't put my finger on it, but it's wooden and it's just a really cute little heirloom. And then the next thing, I got these like wooden blocks. These are Winnie the Pooh blocks and they're supposed to give kind of like a vintage vibe, but I also got her her first little jewelry box. And this one is again from Etsy. I liked it because first off it's handmade and it's ceramic. So it's gonna keep a long time. And I actually have one of these from when I was a little girl. That's why I was looking for one, but it has a really cute little butterfly on it. And yeah, I just think it's nice to start her little jewelry collection when she wants to. And then I ended up framing a picture of me and Doug. And this is him looking at my stomach on our wedding day because I was pregnant. Um, I think I was like three or four months pregnant on our wedding day. So yeah, I thought that was a cute picture and I'll show you guys what that looks like up close. But I thought what better place to put it than in her nursery because she's gonna find out Anyways, she was um, conceived before the wedding. So I also got this lampshade off Etsy and I thought it went with more of the shabby chic vibe that I was initially going for. It has little fabric um, flowers on it, so that's cute. And then I just have this little heart cube, which I think is cute and girly. A candle, which I'm probably not, I mean, not probably, I'm not gonna burn candles when she's born, so don't worry about that. Um, I just have it in here for looks. And I also got these booties from Etsy. They're so cute. Obviously, they're a little bit more, like she wouldn't be walking around in these, but I'm thinking that I'll do like a newborn photo shoot with her wearing these. And then I wanted to hang a few art prints on her walls because I just love them. They're so cute for nurseries. And I got this, I got actually both of them from Etsy, but this one has her name on it and a little fawn. I think that's a baby deer. And then this one is a little sheep. And then I also hung up this really cute shabby chic crown above her door because every girl's a little princess and you can actually get this off Etsy and it's handmade. And then this is also a really cute hand-drawn art print. And you can actually pick the color of the hair and what the girl looks like. Obviously, our little girl's gonna have probably brown hair, most likely. So this is her crib. I actually got it off Amazon Prime. It was such a good deal and it had so many good reviews. And after I showed it to you guys in a vlog, a lot of you already had it and said you liked it, so that was comforting to know. It's from Jenny Lind, and I think that's how you say it. And I really liked it because I think this is called like beveling, but it just reminds me of like a more of a vintage crib, which I was trying to go for. 
and you can get it in different colors and stuff like that but I also liked it because you can adjust the height of the um, crib mattress so when your baby does get a little heavier um, you don't have to hurt your back trying to bend over and pick them out of the crib but yeah so it's kind of high right now since you know she'll be small and can't crawl out and I know I'm gonna get comments about this I know you're not supposed to have anything hanging over the sides of your crib or basically no blankets no pillows stuffed animals but obviously, um, if you guys have been watching my channel, I got a bassinet, so she's not going to really be sleeping in here for a long time. So I just wanted to show you guys everything put in the crib, just for fun. So this stuff's probably going to be put on her toddler bed when she's older. Um, but in her crib, I got these really cute, they're basically like washable pillows from Lorena, I think it's called LorenaCanals.com, and you can honestly just throw the entire pillow in your washer, and they have rugs like that too, so I think that's really nice, especially if you have toddlers and they get messy. Um, so I got this pink star one, and I also got this really big circle um, white one and this gray heart one and then inside the crib I just have stuffed animals I didn't go crazy with stuffed animals I did get her a few Doug thought it was a giraffe but it's actually a little unicorn hence the horn on its head um, it has like a braided tail or like a twisted tail and you can get this in different colors and fabrics as well but I love this and I also love this one because it says her name stitch on it Annabelle and it's a little owl that you can get from Etsy and then the rest of the stuffed animals I just got from family members and friends um, so some of them are from Pottery Barn and others are from Bye Bye Baby. And then I also really quickly wanted to mention this dream catcher that I hung from her curtain rod. I had a dream catcher growing up so it's like sentimental. That's why I got one for her and that one is also from an Etsy seller. I love it. You can get it in different colors and they pretty much all have an ombre effect. I got this really cute throw and it says like Annabelle all over it. It's from Etsy and it's seriously the softest material ever. Um, and it's a really thin blanket so you can swaddle her up in it or just keep it for the winter months when it gets colder. And then the crib sheets, like I said, I really like the floral themes, so I tried to get as much floral in there as possible. Also, the really cute ruffled crib skirt, which I'll show you guys in up close shots. So this is my office area right next to her crib. I'm not gonna really talk into great detail about it because you guys have seen that a million times. And I also did kind of like an office tour back when it was, I think, Doug and I's office. Um, but I did want to mention a few things that I hung on the wall recently. The first one is this really cute deer head. I was seriously debating as to where to put it in the room, but I thought it was really cute above my office. And this is also from the White Faux Taxidermy, the same seller that sent me the wings. They're actually known for their animal heads. They have like a bunch of different animals to choose from and colors. This one's super cute because the antlers have glitter all over them. And the only other thing that I really got that's new in this space is this really cute throw. Um, this is also from an Etsy seller and it has like the softest, it's almost kind of like sheep wool or something like that on the back of it. And you can get different kinds of patterns for the front and it'll keep Annabelle warm throughout the winter months. And then I also got this really cute baby or toddler chair from Cottontail Designs. And it's definitely more of a shabby chic vibe, which I think is so cute. And I also got the two pillows from Etsy that you see on top. And then for the mobile, I got this really beautiful mobile from Etsy as well. And it basically just has handmade floral felt leaves and flowers all over it. So this corner is kind of just a mishmash of stuff that I have from my office and also stuff that was gifted to me at our baby shower. Um, the first thing is just this clothing rack from Ikea. I've had it forever and I didn't know what to do with it, so I kept it. So I kept some more of my, I don't know, special pieces on it, stuff from my engagement shoot and my wedding. I also hung up some of her clothes on these really cute shabby chic hangers from Etsy. And this one is for sure one of my favorite little outfits for her. So I hung that there and then over here I just have the dock tot which is kind of like a travel system for babies so they don't roll off the bed or something like that if you're sleeping with them in your bed or if you're just taking them somewhere and you don't want them to fall off of whatever they're sleeping on. Um, and then also I just have a little chair that Doug's grandpa actually made for us and a little blanket from Etsy that has her name stitched on it with ruffled edges. Then I also have on the chair baby's first rattle and a little handmade bunny from Etsy as well. It's like a crocheted bunny. It's so cute. I love it. And then over here I just have some storage bins. So I put blankets in this one. They're fabric storage bins so you can throw them in the washer if they get dirty which I think is nice. And then I also have one filled with books from the same seller. I totally forgot to mention to you guys the rug. The rug is probably my favorite part because it's just the perfect pastel pink color. I actually got it from Home Depot and I will link it below for you guys. Um, and it wasn't that expensive and it's a pretty large rug because this room is kind of big. And I also got this activity gym from thinandemma.com. It has like little wooden and crochet, um, I think they're like, 
I don't know, bunnies or something like that, hanging off them. And then I just put this blanket underneath it because the rug is not the softest rug in the world. She'll probably be on a blanket or a mat of some sort anyways. But this little throw underneath it is actually also from an Etsy seller. It's handmade and it has a little pom-pom trim, which I think is nice. And you can get it in different colors and also different thicknesses of the blanket. And I also wanted to mention this really cute shabby chic hamper from Cottontail Designs. I like it because you can actually fold it and transport it really nicely, which is nice if you don't have a washer and dryer in unit like Doug and I don't. Um, and also you can use this as a flap to like cover it. Right now I don't have anything in it, but I'll probably end up storing blankets in it or maybe like, I don't know, bigger items of clothing that I can't store because we don't have that much storage space. This is called, I did not know what this was, but it's called a diaper caddy. And you can actually hang it off the side of your crib. I think that's what it's meant for, but my crib doesn't really have posts for me to hang it from. So I just hung it from here for now. And you put diapers in the back of it. It like opens up and there's like a ton of storage space for diapers or anything else you want. And it has like this really cute ruffle pattern detail. I actually did end up getting a diaper pail. I got the Uber diaper pail. And this is also from the baby cubby. And the reason I wanted to get it was because, like I said, we live in a smaller apartment. And we only have one kitchen trash can. And the idea of just dealing with dirty diapers and food just kind of grosses me out. And the other day I was looking on their website and they actually have a light pink version. Um, this one's like a light gray, so I was so mad when I didn't get the pink one, but this one still works. So I'm definitely not going to be doing a whole closet tour because this closet is not just for her nursery. We also have Doug's tools, a random TV in here. Just It's a junk closet, so I try to keep it as organized as possible. But I did want to put some of her stuff in here, so maybe I'll do a separate video on that. So yeah, we just have swaddles, sleep sacks, some more of her clothes that I couldn't fit in the dresser, and also some stuff for bath time and some toys. And I also got this really cute cover for my boppy. This is also from Caden Lane, and this is so cute. I seriously did not know that they had, you know, personalized handmade covers for, for boppies. And this is like a rose pattern, obviously. It has ruffle trim and a really soft, cushy backing, which is nice for breastfeeding. So this is the other side of the closet, and I basically just kind of laid out some of the cute stuff that I want to put on her. So the first thing are bibs, and these are handmade personalized bibs from Etsy, and they have her monogram, obviously, and they also have a really cute soft backing on them, which is nice and snuggly so it doesn't scratch her neck. Um, so yeah, I got two. One is like a black stripe, and one is a gold polka dot one that you guys have probably already seen in my pregnancy vlogs. And I also got this one from an Etsy seller. It has like a little ribbon for around her neck, which I think is nice. And they're all washable. So I've already washed these and dreft and everything like that, so they are good to go. And then I thought I would show you guys some of my favorite bows that you can get online. The first one is this really cute knotted heart one. And then this one is a little pink stripey knotted one. And you guys have seen this one, but I love this one. This is like a sequined big old gold bow. This one's probably my favorite because I love the buffalo check pattern. And this one's like a little bit more of a shabby chic look. And this one is a knotted polka dot one. And then I just put this in here. I really need to put it on her car seat, but you guys have already seen it because I showed it in a vlog. But this is a car seat cover. So if it is colder, it keeps her insulated and it also shields her from the sun. And the back side is a black and white triangle pattern with metallic um, triangles. And you can get this one from Jenny Penny Designs. And I've shown this to you guys before, but this is a handmade crocheted basket. And inside, this is so cute. This is from Hay Creek Road boutique it's like a little bear hat obviously it's gonna be too big for her right away but once she grows up I think it's cute for pictures and then inside I just kept other bibs like this one with cute little tassel pom-poms from Etsy and then these are handmade organic ones from color pride this one is a little rose one this one has little flowers on it and then this one's a little yellow one for her. So that's basically it for this video. If you guys liked it, then give it a thumbs up below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and you want to see new, I guess there won't be very many pregnancy videos left, but there will be motherhood videos and my journey of becoming a new mom. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.